Primetime Friday right here on BTN. You can see the Fighting Illini kick off their 2015 season against Kent State. Not just a regular amount of intrigue as the season opener, but of course, it's the debut game for interim head coach Bill Cubitt. So let's bring in Coach Cubitt now, joining us from Champaign. And Bill, what was your message to the team the first time you addressed them once you found out you'd be the interim head coach? You know, basically, we got to rally around each other uh, and and focus. Don't don't look at the pro uh, don't look down the line. Process each day. Uh, understand what we got to get done each day, and just get ourselves better and get ourselves ready for tomorrow night. How is the atmosphere around the team different now that you've been there for a week or so? Well, I don't know. You know, it's it's tough to say because you know, again, I'm all I'm doing is just concentrating on each little uh, activity we're doing there, but. Uh, they've been absolutely fantastic. They've worked hard. We've changed some things here and there. Uh, they've uh, they've bought into what we're trying to do, uh, but they're ready to play. I mean, there was there was a great group before, and there's and that group is still great. Let's talk about some of your players that you have this year. What makes Wes Lunt special? Well, right now he really understands the offense. Last year uh, he was a guy that was trying to fight for the position. He got the position, but really didn't have any uh, history on being a leader because he. You know, in his mind, he didn't think he was playing. Uh, and so he, he went to buy, buy into it first, get himself involved, and then become a leader. He understands the offense. He's just directing everything. He's like a coach in a field. Uh, totally different than he was last year, getting rid of the ball a lot quicker because he knows where everybody's going to be. And he's also a coach on the field and helping our guys to understand where they have to be. You had this fellow last year named Dudek, who was pretty darn good at the wideout position. What's the latest on his health, Coach? He's really looking good. You know, I don't, I don't know what the prognosis is. Okay, when he'll be coming back. I do know he looks like if you if he just came off the street and you watched him running, you say he'd be ready now. And, you know, and again, you know, it's an ACL, and so cut, there's a lot of cut involved and uh, going through the process there. But he looks good, and he has a great attitude, working himself hard to get back in. But there hasn't been a change on when he could be back. No, you know, I think it's it, we're going to get him back when he's ready. Uh, we're not going to rush him back. Uh, it doesn't make any sense and. When the doctors tell us he's ready to go, that's when he'll go. Kent State is coming up, your first opponent on Friday evening. What's your biggest concern about them? Really, you know, and, and no this way, you know, I respect every opponent that we've ever played, and I tell our guys that you've got to understand that you know, they're going to play their best. It's their first game. They're in a Big Ten stadium. They've got a chip on their shoulder. And you got uh, last year, if you look at their scores, I mean, they lost by an average of 10 points. And so they're, they were in every game last year, break here, break there, didn't go, go for them. So they, uh, you know, they struggled a little bit record-wise, but you could see that they have a lot of kids back. They had 9 out of 11 uh, juniors and seniors on the offense, and 9 of the 12, you know, I count a tight end in there because sometimes they don't use them as, uh, that are juniors or seniors. So they got a lot of experience on that side. And in the MAC, I've, you know, I've been there a long time. Experience makes a big difference in that league. And if you go out there and you have that, you have a better and a better chance of being successful in that league. And that's what I'm telling our guys. What's your biggest concern for you specifically? You've been a head coach before, but you had more than a week to prepare for it. So what's your biggest concern about your role on Friday? Well, th thank goodness, okay, I did have that experience. And, uh, and like I tell our kids, I think uh, pressure is only if, if you don't prepare. Uh, you know, I haven't got much out, much sleep. You know, it's been uh, three, four hours a night. That, you, know, you don't have much time to eat. Uh, you spend a lot of time just thinking about all the ifs, ands, or buts. But uh, fortunately, I had that. Uh, I had that experience. I've also been on some pretty good people, and Larry Smith, and you know, and Coach Faust, and Galen Hall, and you know, Buddy Tevens at Stanford, and you know, so uh, Gary Darnell, West. Virginia. I've had some really good people around me that I've learned a lot for. So that's really helped out with the preparation. Is it going to be more fun on Friday because you'll be the head coach instead of the coordinator? Well, I'm going to let it rip. You know, I'm going to have fun. You know, at this time there, I, I, got, I got no choice. But, uh, you know, I enjoy football. I enjoy the, these kids. I enjoy this university. So when you, uh, when you have a good uh, working environment that, you know, that I see, it, uh, it, it just makes it a lot easier. So uh, our kids are going to have fun. We're going to have fun. Fans are going to have fun. And we'll go out there and we'll give it our best. All right, and you'll get some sleep in December, right? Bill Cuba, head coach yes, of the sir. Fighting Illini. Best of luck on Friday against Kent State. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Chuck, what'd you take away from that? Well, he has head coaching experience, which will help him, and he's had no sleep. So <laughs> his plate has obviously gotten bigger, and uh, that's what happens when you're a head coach. I would lean on that director of football operations as much as I can. Let, let he or she do all the little things there, uh, as well as your support staff. 
And don't forget as a head coach to focus on what you do best. And he is a great play caller. They have a nice, nice offense. Don't disregard that. Don't get away from that to do all those other little things that, that your head coach has to do. Don't forget that. That's going to be key for Bill Cuban.